What up, Brick Squad? Back again with another Fat Bricks video. Before we get into it really quickly, of course I gotta take care of a little business. First, if you're watching this video the day it's released, you actually have three days to enter the Jumpstart competition. I'm giving away $1,000. All the information is down below. I'm gonna make these announcements quick. Secondly, I have a podcast. It's called the Get Well, Get Money Podcast. It's been getting really good reviews. I need you guys to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. And third, as promised, even though I at the time I'm recording this video, I didn't get 3,000 likes yet, but we're about 100 likes away. I'm releasing a compilation, it's called The Bricks Tape. The SoundCloud link is below. Make sure you come back to this video and comment. Let me know what you think of the music. It's old, I mean, it's I think it's about seven or eight years old. I was a totally different person with a totally different mindset. Had the same heart, but had other influences. But anyway, check out the music, let me know what you think. Also. Everybody who follows me on Instagram, please hashtag Bricks Fitness so I can give you guys some love, give you guys some encouragement. Shout out to everybody who tags me on their posts. I really appreciate it. Let's keep that going. Anyway, let's get into this video with your boy Fat Bricks. It's so crazy because I haven't looked at this footage in a while. So it's so nostalgic to see, just to see how my mindset was different, how I thought, how I walked, how I talked the things I talked about. And it wasn't even that long ago. We're talking about five years ago, which is nothing. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, we're, we're about to go in phase two of the South Beach diet, where we're adding in some carbs. I can eat fruit again. I'm gonna get some cereal. I can eat whole grain cereals. I can, um, I don't know, we gotta look up on it, but right now we're just gonna buy food for tomorrow. I mentioned this before I started my weight loss journey using the South Beach diet. It was the only diet book that I had in my house and I don't know where it came from but I started on the South Beach diet and then eventually over time I tried different ways of eating and eventually came up with my own diet called the Briggs diet. Because we have nothing in the house but phase two begins I want to slow down the weight loss. I want to slow it down because I don't want to have loose skin on my stomach or anywhere else. So I'm going to slow it down. That obviously didn't happen. I tried to slow down the weight loss. Well, I said I tried to slow down the weight loss, but I was so obsessed that I definitely didn't. I honestly don't know if slowing it down would have prevented the loose skin. Like I have like loose skin. I honestly don't think it would have prevented it because I lost over 160 pounds in total. So I, I, I don't think that I could have prevented this. It is what it is. Um, start adding some more carbs back into my diet and pick it up with the cardio. I'm picking it up with the cardio. I'm gonna start doing the uphill um, treadmill. So in the beginning, when I first started working out, I actually did zero to no cardio. I just lifted weights. I probably would do a 15 minute session once or twice a week, but for the most part, there was no cardio involved. And going forward from this point, I actually introduced a little bit of cardio. I probably was doing an hour of cardio a week total. I do a little bit more cardio now, but in the beginning, I did not do a lot of cardio. I let this nigga K cut my hair. I don't really like it. Fuck it. Tomorrow's the big day, March 30th. Chrysler Hall, Yo Gotti, Bricks, K Flump, G Money, Alex. I actually filmed this video the day before I opened up for Yo Gotti at Chrysler Hall. It was crazy. Shout out to my man K Flump, who is currently still in the music scene, killing it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna play a little K Flump. I'ma get live, boy, like Fox News. You thought I quit, well, I got you. I'm that is my guy. Very humble, good kid. Hard working. Keep grinding, bro. I'm rooting for you. I know you're probably watching this right now, man, because we still keep in touch. Shout out to K Flum, man. You my dude. I'm about 25 down for the month, about give or take. So the first few months of my weight loss journey, I probably lost 20 to 30 pounds, right? And I was excited, but eventually that started slowing down. I would go, I went from 30 pounds a month to 20 pounds a month. And then all of a sudden, one month, I lost seven pounds. And that's when it got real. That's when I started going through a lot of the mental struggles because it's so easy to stay focused when you see that scale 
dropping. Very easy to stay motivated. But when your progress is slowing down, that's when you're really gonna see how much you want this. Um, feeling great. Bitches on my dick more than ever. And it's only gonna get worse. But I'm all about this fit life, man. They say it take 21 days to start a habit. So, it's habitual. But yeah, man, there's no turning back. Operation Get Abs, full effect. They start in the kitchen, and that's where we working. Yeah, figure down me, my top lip dry as a bitch. At this point in my journey, it's about a month in. There's some videos that I should have posted before this, so just know that I'm posting these Fat Bricks videos kind of randomly, so they're not in any kind of order. But I was excited. It was the first month, I was down 25 pounds. You know, I was feeling good about myself. I was fitting into clothes that I never was able to fit in before. And, and this is just from 25 pounds. I started seeing stuff like the, the, the folds in my stomach started to unfold. I would see like lines in my skin. It was weird to watch my body change so quickly. But I was very, very determined. Um, and I mentioned this before, like I, I had a lot of ups and downs in the, in the journey. It's not, the only difference between this time and the 20 times before I try to lose weight is that I just never gave up. I know that sounds super cliche, I just never gave up. Um, I had a vision in my head and I was gonna do everything in my power to make it happen. I was obsessed and I think if you wanna lose weight, you don't have to be obsessed. But if you're going for full body transformation, you have to be obsessed. It has to consume your entire life. There's no other way. Because it takes a level of dedication that you have to be willing to make sacrifices. You have to be, uh, you have to will yourself through a lot of that. It's hard work, but it can be done. I don't have any superpowers. I don't, I don't have any special abilities. I was trying to lose weight on the budget, like I'm pretty sure a lot of people are. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. I just did a lot of research. I think the biggest ingredient was my obsession. I was obsessed. You have to be obsessed. You have to scale any hurdle. Anything that stands in your way, you have to find your way around it, period. Because there's always gonna be something that's gonna stop you. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video right here. Please leave it a thumbs up. Again, listen to the music on SoundCloud. Come back, comment below. Let me know what you think of the music. I'm gonna do a Fabrics video every Sunday, guys. So. Please share the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.